How's it going everyone? Maximilian here bringing you another weapon breakdown for Modern Warfare 3. And it's been some time since the previous ones, but there's been quite a few weapon breakdowns going over the SCAR, the PP90, MP7, and a variety of other weapons that I thought were really good ones in Modern Warfare 3. And now I want to co start covering the ones that are kind of like around the mid-tier to high-tier range. Some of the ones that aren't as nearly as effective as some other counterparts, but are still good in their own regards. And today's episode is going to highlight the G36, and I was pretty excited the G36 was making a return from the original Modern Warfare. I think the design of the gun is good, and I enjoyed the weapon a lot in Call of Duty 4. So let's talk about the G36 and what makes, makes it an interesting weapon, and we're going to start off with the stats. So the G36 sits in between, like I said, a mid-tier as far as like comparing it to something which is probably the best uh, assault rifle, the ACR. Uh, the ACR does like 45 points of damage at close and 30 long, but the G36 does 40 damage at close and 25 at long, so it's actually sacrificing 5 points of damage both at close range and both at long range. What's funny about this is that if you ran into an enemy and your weapon did, you know, 5 less points of damage from like 45 to 40 or 30 to 25 and you have 100 points of health, it still means it's going to take three shots up close with either the G36 or the ACR, and it's going to take four shots from distance. It's just in those certain moments where a person might be damaged already, the ACR might be a little bit better in those scenarios. But there are things about the G36 that make it better in other aspects, and I'm going to talk about some of the ways and the methods I use this weapon. And the G36 is a an absolutely terrible close-range gun. Uh, when it comes to like hip fire and spray fire accuracy, uh, it's it's really not that good. The gun benefits a lot from aim down sight uh, type of type of combat situations. So if you're running into a lot of opponents that are really close to you, chances are you're not going to be able to kill a lot of them with spray fire. But if you see a lot of people at distance, like the mid to long range distance, that's where the G36 is absolutely friggin' amazing, and I think it's actually better than the ACR and is probably comparable to like the MK14 in overall distance effectiveness. And here's why. The first few rounds when you shoot a G36, no matter what proficiency you're using, is actually pretty accurate. Uh, if you notice those first few rounds when you're not in complete auto fire just as of yet, stay on target rather well. And I notice myself putting people down very quickly from distance with this weapon even more so than almost any other assault rifle. So with this, I started using kick with the gun. I thought kick would be the best thing to use because it's going to, you know, lower my recoil in fully auto situations. But chances are, when you had those moments where you went into fully automatic fire from a distance and you're trying to kill guys that are like several, like, you know, a long range meters away, it wasn't happening very fast. And I found myself liking the ACR a lot more in those situations. So I then leveled up the gun a bit more. And here we're going to talk about proficiencies. What are the best proficiencies you can use? for the G36, and in my opinion, you go all out with this gun. You take the thing and you level it all the way up to 28, and you get stability. Now, a lot of people don't take the time to get to stability or understand what stability actually does, but there have been a few videos about it, but it, it solidifies the position of the G36 on this tier list a lot better amongst the other weapons because of how stability affects it. Since we're already talking that the gun doesn't do amazing in full auto situations, those first few shots, those first like, you know, sub 10 shots or so, if you're burst firing, are really accurate, and that's what stability helps with. Those first few bullets that come out of the gun stay on target, and they stay on target freaking hard. So what happens then, if you're aiming at a guy down sight, those first three bullets, three or four bullets that'll come out, will drop a dude instantly, so it essentially becomes a laser within the first few rounds, and that's what kind of makes it fair. Uh, it's nowhere near like, you know, ACR Modern Warfare 2 laser status, but it definitely is very effective. Uh, I don't actually like using an attachment on the gun other than the red dot sight because I personally don't prefer the iron sights. So here's where we're going to talk about the attachments really quick. Uh, a lot of the time on most assault rifles, I get used to like, you know, not having kick and you are able to put two attachments on giving you the benefit of extended mags and like a red dot sight or whatever the hell else you want. But in the case of the G36, I really like the red dot sight on this gun and it's kind of a personal thing for myself. And since I use stability, I don't get access to the proficiency of two attachments. So I just prefer rolling with stability the whole time. But for you guys, I can master the iron sights of this gun. Use something like extended mags and you're good to go. 
Uh, it'll be an, an extremely effective assault rifle for those mid to long range situations, and if you keep your gunfights to that, you'll be rolling probably over 3 to 5 kill death ratios on average for the majority of your games. If we're going to talk about perks, I'm actually going to settle with the basic assault rifle perk class that I use for this one. And the perks I like to use are Hardline, I like to use Blind Eye, and I like to use Stalker. I, I really think Stalker is the best perk you can possibly use for assault rifles in Modern Warfare 3, as it just makes you feel more mobile, and in those close quarter fights, it gives you a little bit more of a fighting chance to survive because of that mobility. The other reason I like using Blind Eye is because on assault rifle classes, their the primary goal is to get to kill streaks as soon as possible. So I use things like Stingers. Immediately shooting down UAVs, regular choppers, pavlos, anything in the sky that'll take one or two rocket shots to get me another point towards my next kill streak. Because if you're running something like Hardline, there's a good chance that the goal of using the gun from that mid to long range is to make you safe in order to get to the kill streak faster and to be safer while using it. So that's going to just about do it for the weapon breakdown of the G36 and why I find it to be a very fun and very effective weapon in Modern Warfare 3. I like taking user comments and suggestions as far as what weapons I should cover for later episodes of the weapon breakdown in Modern Warfare 3. But as usual, thank you all very much for watching the video. You can find more weapon breakdowns, strategies, tactics, commentaries, and several tips regarding Modern Warfare 3 on my channel at youtube.com slash miles923. This has been Maximilian, signing out.